what is a fam welcome back to leslie jones tarot this reading here is for my scorpios i hope y'all are having an amazing weekend y'all forgive my look i um uh, just woke up not too long ago and if you see me looking up i'm watching my son he's outside playing with his little friend so i'm watching him uh make sure he don't get ran over or nothing like that okay all right, let's see. What's going on? What are the messages Scorpio needs to know? I hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all are having a fabulous weekend. Let's go. Let's dive in. Okay. What's going on with my Scorpio spirit? What's going on with Scorpios? Anxiety? Wait a minute. Oh. Somebody stress. Sleepless nights. And then walking away is at the bottom. The goddess of the moon. Somebody has hidden fears about somebody walking away, somebody leaving. Somebody's not sleeping well. Damn, she look, she look like she going through it, y'all. <laughs> like she, she's crying. She got mascara running down her face. She pulling her hair. She got tension, honey. It's raining outside. Okay, she going through it. Mm, okay. And walking away is at the bottom. So somebody has a fear that somebody's walking away for good. Like somebody's gone. Yeah, it's like some somebody might be gone for real because I see the fish chakra, which is the throat chakra, and then the journey card. Somebody's letting somebody know that they're ready to go on a new phase or a new journey in their life here. Yeah, she got her bags packed, y'all. Hold on, y'all. My son just walked in. Hold on, just a second. Sorry about that. I shut the door because I know my my son. He'll be running in and out, and y'all hear him in the background. Okay. So, yeah, I feel like somebody is making it known that they're leaving for good. Like, they literally have their bags packed. They're walking away. Um, they're ready for a new journey or a new phase in their life. What did I say? Crossroads. Scenic view. Curious town. I don't know what that one say. The end. Number 13. Okay, so, like, on this little light post thing, they got, like, different paths that you can take. So, some of y'all are, are, like, in between worlds right now or in between decisions others of you it's like you're you're out you're looking out wondering like hey should i take this one should i take this one some of y'all want to go on new adventures on things that you've never done before some of y'all could be uh like uh getting ready to go on a trip or vacation but you're not really sure where to go or how to travel by boat by train you know something like that as well some of y'all are speaking about wanting to travel wanting to move wanting to relocate but I feel like somebody is like stressed because somebody's walking away. Like, and this is uh somebody has sleepless nights. Um, who's ever taking a flight, don't stress about it. It's gonna be fine. So I feel like somebody's anxious about going on a flight or something like that, about flying, and somebody's freaking out, thinking about canceling. Don't cancel. <laughs> okay, just go for it. What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio? Can I have another one, please? What's going on with Scorpio? community now this came out yesterday i believe man holding a coin at the bottom the temple path okay so some of y'all could have an online presence it's it's meant for you to have this and you were guided towards this you were guided towards this way here some y'all have like a financial opportunity to make money this way here that's part of your work part of your life purpose here the community card so you could have like a a group of people to watch you, like, you know, subscribers or on TikTok followers and stuff like that on Instagram. Oh, walking away. Okay, y'all, what the heck is going on here? You got walking away and hostilities. It's like somebody wants to, like, rebel against you walking away or you're rebelling to walk away from something here. What is going on? Deceit. Somebody does not want you to say it's like somebody's trying to keep you like you see how he's blocking this path or guarding this path. I don't know if this is you guarding or somebody blocking it. But it's like somebody is trying to keep somebody from moving on, but they're doing it in like a sneaky conniving way here. This here could be a very thieving type of energy. That looks like the devil, to be honest, toxic, devilish type of energy here. You got 20, you got 27, 26, 25. So somebody could be losing something. The numbers are going down here. Wow, I just realized that. 27, 26, 25. Somebody's losing something because somebody's walking away or they feel like they're at a lack of something because somebody's walking away. It could be a lack of finances, lack of money. But I feel like somebody's just confident. Like they're ready to walk away. They're ready to take that leap here. Let's see. Let's, uh, what's going on? 
What is going on? Let me get a clarify the anxiety card. Clarify with the Kipper deck. Oh, that's the energy oracle, and then this here is the Kipper deck. So let's see. Clarify the anxiety card for Scorpio. Last shuffle. Okay. Clarify the anxiety card for Scorpio. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to leave a relationship or no longer wants to be in a contract here because, you know, not all of us are in love and stuff like that. Some of us are, um, mm, well, I'd be, I be uh, stressed too, honey. Wealthy man's at the bottom of the deck. Somebody about to leave, lose out on a bag. <laughs> Woo! Okay. So it's like somebody wants to date somebody or wants to be with somebody. Oh, baby, but she don't even look interested. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. I'm not going to laugh. I'm going to get it together. Um, it's not funny. Okay. There's a connection that has a lot of value to it. Okay. Wealthy man energy. This person got a bag. Okay. This person is very stable. Okay. They could be very generous, very loving, very caring, very abundant. This connection here. Okay. There could be a lot within this connection. All right. But I feel like somebody is not interested in this connection. You see how this man looking at this woman and she kind of like. When she get out my face, his breath show stank. I wish you know what I'm saying. Like she not even interested. <laughs> and I'm sorry, y'all. I bit my lip and it still hurt. Like I bit the shit out of it. I'm not even gonna lie. Like it was like ah, like like a dog. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, somebody is no longer uh, interested in some sort of connection here, and it somebody somebody is losing their mind. Okay. Who? It's because somebody feels like the only reason why they want to be with them is because of money. Thief and great fortune. Now I understand why. Somebody feels that the only reason they want to be with them is because of what they can do for them. The abundance, the success, the stability. This is like, you know what I'm saying? This is like being with somebody and you want love and then this person just wants to spend your bag. Like, I want to go shopping. What can you do for me? I need to go spend this. It's, it's never, hey, I love you, honey. Let me Let me take you out. Let me do something for you. It's always, what can you do for me? So I feel like somebody is either stressing because they feel like this person is leaving them and they about to be broke, okay? Or somebody is stressing out because they realize that the person they're with is using them because of what they can do for them. And so somebody feels like they've been robbed. They feel like somebody's here to steal their fortune. Yeah, distant horizons. They feel like thoughts yeah and that's all they think about they feel like in the future this person's gonna take them for everything they got or they're thinking about the future like man if i get even more money this person's just gonna steal it from me they just gonna take it from me oh that's bad i don't like that that's sad and yes people do that people get with people just for money let's see clarify the anxiety card i see why somebody's stressed out and I see why somebody going through it. Okay, clarify the anxiety card, please, spirit. Clarify the anxiety card. What I tell you, somebody in their head, you got two cards of being in their head. Suffering in silence. And then on the bottom of the deck is the empress. So, Scorpio, this could be you. You got, you're nurturing, you're growing. Some of y'all, y'all could be in a marriage or a connection or a commitment. You're growing, you're building, you're evolving here. But I see the three of swords behind it with the damn devil. So, ooh, could be a, a divorce that's happening here with the justice card and the world card or a karmic cycle coming to an end here. But somebody's realizing, like, they're they're literally stressed in their head. Like, damn, I lost that. Or, damn, I lost the empress. Or, oh, my gosh, I'm going to lose the empress. Or, yeah, somebody, somebody's afraid because somebody's leaving a foundation here. The base chakra and the chariot. Somebody's leaving a foundation. Somebody's ready to go forward, wanting to uh, create victory elsewhere or uh, build a foundation elsewhere. Here, this could be somebody wanting to leave a connection and just letting one of these, like they're showing me the tower, letting this particular situation fall. And somebody is stressed. Clarify the anxiety card for Scorpio. Choose wisely. Yeah, somebody's making a choice. Somebody's really looking things over. They're like, they're thinking to them, look, the damn empress popped out again. Y'all, y'all see me shuffling this deck. The empress, somebody is heartbroken over the empress because of their toxic ways. 
somebody is stressed over their toxic way. Somebody could have made a choice by choosing another person. And now they're realizing that everything they once had is gone. Like it's, they'll never get that back. Others of you is like somebody has been dating somebody and somebody's realizing the only reason you're with me is because what I can do for you financially. And now somebody's bored. It's being illuminated. The sun. Like if I hit a rough patch in the future, if I if I hit a patch where, you know, I need you to be my backbone instead of me being your backbone, supporting you. You know how a relationship is supposed to work. Are you going to leave me? Something's being illuminated here with the sun energy. The sun is being shown. The truth is being revealed here. Movement choices and decisions that somebody might have made the wrong choice because they weren't listening to their intuition here. Foundation and achievements. Yeah. It's like it all depends. I've just seen a boy standing on his seat riding a bike. Lord. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Somebody took a risk. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's what that was. Somebody took a risk. And I feel like it caused a lot of conflict. There could have been a family dynamic here because you got the foundation and achievements and conflict and defeat. Somebody um, wanted to win at all costs. Okay. I feel like there was a situation where. There was a family dynamic that might have came to uh, a head, you know? Yeah, and it had to be sacrificed here with the hangman. Um, something had to be sacrificed in order for something else to begin, something else to grow. And I feel like somebody is either, one, worried and stressed that the choice that they're making, they're going to have to abandon everything that they've already built and let that go in order to start new. Or two, I've already let go of that and I've started new and now I'm realizing where I'm at that, this may not be what I thought it was going to be. I feel like I'm getting used. Did I really leave my empress to come over here to some bullshit? Okay. Give me another one here for the anxiety card. I'm telling you, somebody is not happy in a connection at all. Clarify the anxiety card for Scorpio. Anxiety card for Scorpio. What's this anxiety card about? Conflict and defeat. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Six of swords. Moving on to clarity. Somebody could be realizing this um, bully mentality, this win at all costs, you know, conflict and, and, and coming at you and cutthroatness here might have severed something that can't come back. Yeah, spiritual union, a soulmate connection, a twin flame connection here. Somebody made a choice to move away from something here. Somebody chose to sacrifice something, eight of wands, energy. And I feel like once it once that happens, somebody else was able to take off here, the magician, and create something, build something here. The third eye chakra, because they were listening to their intuition. They had insight of what to do, financial and material changes, and love begins. They realized that they might have lost something, yes, but change had to happen for them to find new love. I feel like material harvest, and now somebody's very wealthy on their own, in their singlehood. This is non-material harvest. This is pre-empress energy. Maybe you weren't pre emperor And y'all, I'm reading from Scorpio standpoint. This can be cross-watchers energy. Yes, most definitely. We could be tapping into uh, somebody that's watching you. You see what I'm saying? Because I've seen a comment. Somebody said, "Is this is? are you tapping into maybe cross-watcher energy? This could be cross because there could be cross-watchers here. And that's the energy I'm picking up on. But yes, absolutely. But um, what I'm seeing here is somebody manifested a new beginning for themselves. The Ace of, uh, Ace of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. This is like loving on yourself, self-love. Somebody had to like let something go. It's like they had no choice. They had to accept change, but they had to walk by faith, not by sight and realize, okay, I got to accept this change. I got to move forward. I got to move on, even if it's by myself, but I still can have the life that I want, the happiness that I want. But I feel like somebody might have, the way somebody went about it, um, the way that they either separate this relationship or the way that they left a connection or something like that. It was quite uh, combative, maybe I sh should say, with this conflict and defeat. Because I feel like somebody's admitting, okay, I didn't, this person didn't choose to be with me. That's okay. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move forward. And now somebody's looking like, damn, I done chose this other person over here. And Scorpio went on and they live in their best life and I'm over here stuck. Like, I'm fucked. You know, I done lost Something that could have been very wealthy, very successful, very abundant for somebody that's been using me for my money, you know, or they feel like now that you're moving on, you're taking from them or something. Honey, I don't know. Let's keep going. We're going to clarify with the, no, 
modern witch deck. Let me get the modern witch deck. Hold on, y'all. We're going to get a couple cards to clarify this here. I'm going to try not to go past 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to try my best. Clarify suffering in silence for Scorpio. Clarify suffering in silence for Scorpio, please, spirit. Ooh, y'all, what the hell? You got nine of swords, nine of swords, freaking nine of swords. Somebody is up in their head. They are not sleeping. They are stressed. I hope this person, whoever this is, I hope they're not going through depression. And if they are, please reach out to somebody um, so that you can talk to somebody and release that here. You know, I don't care if you've done something wrong or not. You know, this mental, I've been there in this mental fog. You need to open up to somebody, talk to somebody. Because this right here, this is like sleepless nights, crying, you know, in a mental battle. You know, like this, this is sad. All of this energy on top, like three different decks. And we've got the same energy here. The same energy is clarifying the same energy. Nine of swords, nine of swords. Somebody is in their head. I kind of I kind of feel bad, but, you know, I feel like they did bring it on themselves. Yeah, because somebody might have been selfish. Four of pentacles, knight of cups. It's like they held their love offering back from you here, Scorpio. And now, yeah, eight of cups and the justice. It's, it's karma. It's um, the justice, page of cups. It's how this is meant to happen. Somebody walked away, chose something else, and now they're watching you move on and, and um, rebuild your life. Because I feel like you were at this point in your life at one point. But now um, they may realize the grass wasn't green on the other side, but it's only fair that you're fully walking away from this. Some of y'all are actually like going through a divorce, separation. But I feel like somebody is wanting to apologize here with this page of cups. Page of Wands. Some of y'all have children. It could be like, you know, child support or something like that that's going on here as well. Three of Swords. Page of Swords. Somebody's very disappointed. I feel like somebody's disappointed about their choice. Uh, let's see. Clarify Nine of Look, Five of Wands, Four of Wands. Somebody's very selfish here. Clarify this Nine of Swords energy for Scorpio. Nine of Swords. Yeah, now somebody's not talking to somebody. Somebody's very cold-hearted. Very cut off, very blunt, okay? If it ain't about the kids, I don't want to talk. Some of y'all are like that. If it's not about, um, some of y'all, the only way y'all conversate with this person is through your attorney or through your lawyer here. Others of y'all, y'all not talking at all. Y'all got this person blocked. They're like, you just, I don't want to talk to you. I'm good. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to be friends. Four of cups, the moon, the nine of cups, yeah. I'm secretly happy. Some of y'all could be like, you know, uh, keeping your new relationship to yourself or your new life to yourself, your happiness to yourself because you feel like this person just would try to interrupt it. Or I feel like for some of you, y'all, y'all are this person's wish fulfillment and they have a fear that you'll never accept their offer again here because they chose other options. Seven of Cups, that they would never have a chance with you. They feel like it's ended. The World card and the Five of Cups. Yeah. They feel like this cycle has fully come to a close. Like they'll never get this chance with you again. There's some regrets here for swords. There's some regrets because it's like you've healed eight of swords. So they're stuck in their head or they're going through a healing phase here. So they're stuck in their head. Eight of swords energy. It's a lot of five of swords. Somebody calls some type of bullying, some type of win at all cost type of energy here. And it, I feel like it really um, destroyed this connection here. Like it had a, a huge impact. I, I feel like it's one of those, it's not that you left, it's how you left type of energies, you know. It's not that you wanted to go off and, and be with somebody else. It's the fact that you had to berate me and break me down and make me feel like nothing in order to, to feel like you were okay walking away. Choose wisely. Clarify have the choose wisely card. Four of wands. Yeah, destiny, your path. This is your purpose. 1111 card foundation. Somebody, the sun card, somebody needed to choose wisely when it comes to their family life. King of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Nine of Wands. The King of Pentacles is long-term stability, commitment. This is like marriage material, traditional. But I feel like somebody ghosted this, the Hermit and the Nine of Wands. And they, they fought against this, like Six of Wands. They fought against this, fought to resist this here. And the Six of Wands energy, they wanted to be victorious here with their new beginning. Six of Pentacles. 
But I also feel like this is you, Scorpio. Like with this King of Pentacles and the Hermit, you're finally ghosting this situation, the traditional life, you know, of being um, in a commitment, long-term commitment here. And you're, you had to fight to get back up and you became victorious here. You had to put in a lot of work. You were very exhausted. Maybe you tried with this connection for quite some time and it just wasn't working out. So you became victorious on your own here. Now you're getting recognized. People are seeing you. You're getting attention here and you're starting off new. Ace of Wands, Six of Pentacles. And you're starting to give um, your energy and efforts to other people. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you're starting something new. Hmm. Okay, clarify the Choose Wisely card. I see the Sun card. Somebody may see this. You may not even realize that they're watching. They're in their head about it. Clarify the Choose Wisely card for Scorpio. Clarify Choose Wisely. King of Cups. Yeah, most definitely. Somebody... Uh, somebody could be in a mature connection now, like a very mature connection. Uh, your emotions are like on point here. You're not all over the place. I feel like you've grown a lot from this particular situation here. The Seven of Swords is at the bottom with the Five of Wands. See, I feel like somebody's trying to cause conflict, trying to cause arguments. Somebody's very sneaky, uh, very combative here. But I feel like, Scorpio, you're doing your own thing with this four. Let's see, King of yeah. Six of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, the Sun. It's like somebody's using their head over heart that they should come in and try to like, they're either moving on or they're wanting to come in to calmer waters with you and work on building this, investing in this again here for the Sun card. What comes after the Sun? The Four of Pentacles. But somebody's holding back. Somebody is also trying to move on and they're realizing that they're losing because they're going from the Eight to the Four. They went from eight to seven, and then the sun became illuminated. So, yeah, they were happy, but they're realizing that now they're penny pension. Like, they might have had it good at one point, but their finances are dwindling. Their finances are, are dropping here. Clarify the choose wisely card. Give me another on the choose wisely for Scorpio. Clarify choose wisely. The Empress. Somebody else is leveling up. So somebody, it's like somebody might have chose to go a different path, okay? And then they realized that everything just, like, just went downhill. But it's like you, you decide to work on yourself. You decide to build your new foundation. And, like, you're growing. You're building. You're in this empress energy. But the three of swords is here. I feel like that pain turned into power. Two of pentacles, queen of wands energy. Somebody could have been indecisive. Five of wands about you and another person, they might have chose the other person and realized they missed out on the empress. They missed out on a, a motherly figure, someone, or a fatherly figure, empress or emperor, someone that had the power to create um, whatever it is that they want. You know, the empress, she plants seeds and they grow, like stuff comes from it. It becomes very prosperous here. Very intuitive, very enlightened. She knows um, what she wants. She knows she's valuable. She knows her worth. Male or female, but I feel like somebody juggled you with the Queen of Wands, and that caused it caused a lot of oh Jesus, <laughs> I'm sorry y'all. Two of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Seven of Swords. It caused a lot of conflict here. This juggling, this indecisiveness here. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. The Queen of Wands, she a baddie, but she ain't no damn Empress. That's for sure. Yeah, she can, she can do things sexually. You know, she's very uh, fiery at the mouth. You know, she's very courageous, very confident here. But this Five of Wands and Seven of Swords, this was like, now I'm going to fight my way through all the competition to get what I want. But they did it strategically here, the Hermit, to get somebody ghosted. Nine of Wands. Because they didn't want to, it's like they kept fighting for this. Like, uh, honey, Six of Wands, because they wanted the victory. They were sneaky. They did whatever they could to get this, get what they wanted. No matter if they had to lie, they had to cheat, they had to fight. Like they wanted to be the winner. They couldn't lose whatever this was here. But it looks like somebody might have missed out on the Empress or Queen of Wands. Okay, clarify the conflict and defeat. I just seen the Knight of Wands energy. Somebody was very promiscuous. Could have been in a connection. It was very promiscuous, very in and out. Clarify conflict and defeat for Scorpio. Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody's stuck in their head now. Somebody's in mental conflict. They feel trapped. 
It's like they want to apologize, Page of Cups. Some of y'all, the reason why this person's trapped because they done got somebody pregnant uh, with that Page of Cups. But others of you, this person is trapped because they know Seven of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, that they should have fought for this. This King of Pentacles and this Ten of Cups energy to be with you. They should have fought for this high level commitment. They should have fought to be traditional. King of Swords, Knight of Cups. Others of you, the reason why this person's in, in their head again, if you're dating somebody new, they may feel it or sense it that you're in a connection now. And they, they want to come forward and offer you love, but yeah, they want the high level commitment now. The high priestess. You see, they could be trying to like communicate to you telepathically in some sort of way with that high priestess. Or your intuition is telling you this person wants you. Queen of Pentacles. They want you to give to them here. The devil. But they are sick. Clarify the conflict and defeat card. Ooh, look. Six of Cups tried to pop out. Clarify conflict and defeat. This is definitely a past soulmate. Could be somebody wanting to reconcile with you. Clarify conflict and defeat. Six of Swords. Somebody wants to come into karma waters with you. Or somebody's trying to move on, but they can't because they're mentally blocked. Ace of Cups. Somebody's wanting a new beginning, but they're very overburdened, overwhelmed here. This could either be a new beginning with you or a new beginning elsewhere. Ace of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, the Moon card, and the Knight of Wands. But somebody's becoming clear that they're that you're like you're ready to work on your own. Like you don't want to be involved with this person. And they fear that the moon and the knight of wands. Like, somebody's becoming clear that they don't want to put the work, energy, and effort into something because they realize somebody's flighty. Knight of, Wands, Knight of Wands energy is not dependable. You know, yeah, you can send them out on a mission, but, I mean, they not going, you know what I'm saying, they may or may not complete it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they excited at first, like, yeah, I got this, I'm going to do this, and then they kind of like, eh, okay, this is boring, I'm done, I'm gone. So it's like somebody going to put a lot of work and effort into creating some type of illusion that they may possibly be something more than what they are and they could just be the 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 freaking seven of swords the freaking knight of wands it's not funny i'm sorry this is like somebody coming off like i am a king i am grounded i am this and then they do everything they can to hide the illusion and be like okay as long as i do right i'll be good and then people start to see them like hold on wasn't this person out with Stacy? Wasn't this person out with Brad the other night? Wasn't, you know, it's like they slip back into their ways. The temperance, all in divine timing. The sun is being revealed that this person is not as dependable as they appear to be. Some of y'all, this person came off like they work. They, they like financially stable. Like they got a lot of money. Somebody's realizing this person uh, may not have the kind of money that they thought they had. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let's pull a couple of... What's the tea on top of this? Yeah, I'm sorry. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna clarify the community. Clarify suffering and silence. Man, somebody, I mean, somebody going through it. Like this is a lot of air energy here. Y'all could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or you have uh you could be on the Libra cusp, like I am, Libra Scorpio cusp. Woo -woo. Clarify suffering and silence. What is this about with this nine of swords, queen of swords energy? Saying somebody's watching you from a fake account. If you got this person blocked, they still watch you. Just so you know. Because I feel like y'all got them blocked because you, you got Queen of Swords here. Like, you don't want to talk to them. You don't want to conversate with them. Like, this person, you feel, you might feel like they're a liar. That's why you're like, the only way you talk to me is if you tell me the truth. And this person can't be truthful. So, it's like, I'm going to block you. I'm going to let it go. But this person, yeah, they probably on their best friend's phone watching you from their account. Just so you know. Yeah, they creeping. Wondering what you're up to. Wondering what you're doing. But they on the same shit just a different day. They're fucking multiple people. They're in fuck buddy relationships. They still could be with the person and then messing with somebody on the side. If I suffer in silence, broke ass. This person's going through it financially. They feel abandoned. They feel at a loss, at a lack type of energy here. Cloud hungry. But they could be coming off like, yeah, I make money. I got bands, da 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 da. But they don't. Okay, their wallet's empty. Their bank account is low. Moving silence and acting code. This is you, Scorpio. This person, they watch your account to see what you're up to. But see, you don't really post shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't post like going out, so-and-so, so-and-so, in a new relationship, da 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 You might have like in a relationship or something like that. But you you might not post your person. You see what I'm saying? You're very, uh, not only the acting code, this is giving me like that queen of swords. You're very analytical, like very smart, very intelligent. 
So the way that you make moves, you're like, mm, I put I'm in a relationship, but I won't put who I'm with. You know what I'm saying? Like, you won't see the person I'm with, but, you know, it is what it is, okay? But I feel like you're going to cut this person off, Scorpio. Clarify this, choose wisely with the Four of Wands, King of Cups, and the Empress energy. Yeah, somebody, hey, somebody was in their ego. Somebody was in their ego and missed out on the Empress. It's like that, yeah, very low vibrational energy here. It's like somebody wasn't thinking smart. Somebody wasn't planning this. Out. This is like a person that was thinking of in the moment, but wasn't thinking of like in the future. Like in this moment, I'm going to have an amazing time. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy myself. But um, damn, I didn't think about two, three years down the road that uh, that person I was with, like we was actually together. We had stuff together we was you know going long term and now uh yeah i left that person and um now i'm broke like i done had a good time with little stacy or brad over here but um they ain't as financially stable as i thought they were and now i'm spending all my money on this person to be getting nowhere oh they thought you was gonna wait on them. waiting love on the brain dreaming fantasizing daydreaming nostalgic they thought you were so in love with them that you was gonna wait on them to get their shit together they thought they had time. That's what it was. Clarify, choose wisely with the Four of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Empress. Cock blocking. They thought that you was going to wait, and they thought that you that they could, like, you know, be in this ego situation where they could block you from moving on or keep you from moving on. So they may be, like, doing little dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, come back to get their ego boosted like that. Come back in and be like, hey, yeah, I miss you, da da da, da to get their ego boosted. Like, gaslighting, okay? Um... To try to block you from moving on. But Scorpio, I feel like you stepped in your Empress energy or Emperor, okay? And you were like, no, I'm, I'm ready to move on. I've matured. I've grown. I see things for what they truly are. And it's time to make the choice to move forward move on here. And now somebody is realizing bankrupt, scarcity tactics. And damn, I done lost the Empress. I done lost my stability. I done lost what I thought was going to be there that was going to have my back. Again, karmic friends giving money. They could have been listening to karmic friends karmic people, karmic relationships, like you don't need them, you ain't got to be with them, cut them off, da, da 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 Somebody was blocking this connection here in some sort of way. Either they were blocking you or somebody else was in the mix of blocking them. They could have been giving them money at the time, you know, supporting them at the time, but they're realizing that that little support temporarily wasn't what you could bring to the table. Like this, for example, this is a person like, okay, yeah, I got you. I'm going to support you. I'm going to rock with you. And then they go over there. They're like, okay, yeah, she going to rock with me. He going to rock with me. And yeah, they do for a couple of weeks to get you pulled in, right? So that you'll make sure you leave. But then you get over there and realize everything that glitters ain't gold. Then all of a sudden, this person start having financial problems. Then they start, oh, you know, I really can't cover the rent this month. Can you go ahead and cover it? And you like, damn, especially if you left your whole family for another person. Not only do you have those responsibilities of... uh taking care of the kids where you still got to support them or if you were married you got to pay like you know uh what's it called the legal fees or uh alimony you know if, if y'all do that and stuff like that but you know left the home life that family life that whole foundation for something else over here and then you realize damn like it ain't really i left all of that for this and this ain't what i thought it was like i feel like that's what's going on here um Let's see here. What's the conflict and defeat about? With the Eight of Swords, Six of Swords. Rejected. Yeah, somebody's feeling rejected. Now somebody's in their head. Because they feel like they rejected their empress. I'm telling you. Look, stalker, bottom of the deck. And they watching as you're rising up, as you're building, as you're growing, as you're creating. It's like they thought maybe when they left that you were going to crash and fall. But you built yourself back up. Yeah, it might have took a little minute, but you built yourself back up. You got back on your feet. You started building, growing, evolving again here. And now they feel left out in the cold. Yeah, tripping on you, acting cold. Now they flipping out. It's like Maybe if they come at you every time, they may have like an attitude or they feel pissed off at you or something like that. This person is mad. And this could be the reason why you cut them off because it's like they switched up on you out of nowhere. That's our conflict defeat with the Eight of Swords, Six of Swords. Bad karma. It's their bad karma. Now they got to go through their bad karma, especially if they fucked you over, Scorpio. If they went out, cheated, slept around with other people, left you for another person, straight up abandoned you, treated you like shit. They have to repay that karma first before anything starts going good in their life. That's part of their karma. 
So now this person could be pretending like they happy, but they really not. Fake smiles. Child services. Yeah, again, some of y'all like this person could owe child support or they're not seeing their kids as much as they want to here. It could be like, you know, uh, set weekends, set days, stuff like that. They feel lonely. They feel left out. They feel like nothing's changing. Whoever they with, it's like they all they do is want to have sex or they just want to be like laid up and booed up here. It, you know, nothing could be growing over there. Yeah, boss daddy shine it's like nothing's growing over there they feel like nothing's growing or expanding they could be in this big dick energy here with the stable business owner ceo big dick energy right and it's like they may come off like that but that's not who they are and you may see through this person too busy winning others of you this person sees you winning they see you building, growing, expanding here, but their life isn't going anywhere, okay? So what I'm going to do, because this, this is like 35 minutes long, I'm going to cut it off here, and I'm going to do a part part two for y'all, because I, I don't want the video to be super long, y'all, okay? So I'll catch y'all in part two.